Gary in Wilmar, Minnesota. He writes to me and he says, I see many Class A B amps as touting a Class A bias or high bias uh, Class A. Now, some manufacturers then state this means it runs in Class A for the first few watts or even the first 10 or 15 watts. Is it true? And should I be concerned about my volume adjustment to stay within Class A? My current speakers are exceptionally efficient, so I only need a few watts for most of the day to day listening. Well, is it true? Well, yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> when we're talking about Class AB amplifiers, there is a certain amount of idle bias, and it, it, it could have as many as a few milliwatts to, uh, like our BHK series, I had one or two watts. The first couple of watts are Class A, which means the transistors are always conducting so that the signal doesn't turn them on, where that would be a Class B rating. So Class AB, which is what the vast majority of amps you're talking about are, means that for the first few bits, they, the Class A rating, where it's always on, and where it's going to sound the sweetest, especially on very low level detail. Um, yeah, that's absolutely true. Uh, ours does it, plenty of amps do it. It's a good thing. Do you need to get careful? I wouldn't be too concerned with it. A properly designed power amplifier with reasonable class A-ness for low level signals and and you know when we we when we design these things, we'll turn the bias up. Uh, you can see it on. You can watch the THD. You can see the crossover notch. You just turn it up till that all goes away. You give it a little bit more, and that is sufficient. Now, you might then say, well, we could go even more, and we do, and other people do. You don't see the difference in distortion or crossover notch, any of that stuff. You don't see any of that. But it does help with uh, speakers that are really efficient with low level signals. They'll sound just slightly sweeter with that higher bias class A. So yeah, that's real stuff. That's good stuff. Uh, again, I wouldn't be too concerned. And the reason is, as the signal gets louder, there isn't a whole lot of advantage to being in class A anymore. Now the signal is going up, it's doing its thing without any distortion, it's coming back down. It's only when we get to that crossover junction between the plus and the minus that we want to make sure the transistors are always on and they're not switching on and switching off. And that's the beauty of that kind of a system. So I think you're going to be just fine. And yeah, if you've got speakers that only need a couple of watts, you're probably all in class A. So good for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye.